Hey guys, Doug Rucker here with Pressure Cleaning School coming to you from a job site. Uh, hey, my passion is helping you guys that are new to this industry uh, master this industry. So, um, got five tips to help you win your day. This is Wednesdays with Doug. So, I've got five tips that I'm going to share with you to help you win your uh, day. Save you some time on projects, um, things like that. So, get ready for tip number one. Tip number one, whatever first thing when you get to the job, <clears throat> I always knock on the door and ask the customer if they need to leave while we're working. If so, they need to get their car out of the driveway and put it on the street, just like this customer did for us. Then what I like to do is to block the driveway so the UPS or anybody else, any friends, neighbors, whatever, don't pull into the driveway and pull over my hose. So I always blocked the driveway. Tip number two is next. All right, tip number two, as soon as you've got your rig parked, you blocked off the driveway, the customers move the car, get your water hose rolled out and start filling the tank. Tip number three next. Okay guys, tip number three, while your water is filling, that's a good time to walk around the house and start doing your property protection. Note any plants that you're gonna have to protect or cover. Um, <clears throat> any electrical outlets, ceiling fans, barbecue grills. Uh, always move their furniture for them. That's the way we do it. We don't upcharge for that. The reason we do that is it just saves us time because we can move it to where it needs to be so it's not in our way. Oftentimes if customers move that stuff, they just set it like from right here to right there in the grass and that's in my way. So uh, that's tip number three. While the water's filling, walk around, take care of all your pro property protection, cover those outlets with that. Here's a bonus tip for you when filming a video. Put your phone on airplane mode so if somebody calls you, it doesn't shut your video off. But again, back to tip number three. Yeah, just go around while that water's filling up in that tank and get all your property protection done. Uh, tape off the doorways, tape off... Uh, you know, the thresholds, things I've gone over before, uh, electrical outlets, all of that. Tip number four is next. Hey guys, tip number four is, after you've done with that property protection, the water tank is possibly still filling or already full, get your pressure hose, get it rolled out, roll it all the way back to the point where you're gonna start. We always like to start in the back and work towards the front so for instance on this job we're all completed we've cleaned the house we've cleaned the driveway we've water fed pole cleaned the windows and now we're rolling up all of our hoses all of our equipment everything is right out here by the truck so it's very easy to roll up so we start at the front i mean start at the back and work towards the front so once the tank is full and your property protection is done get that pressure hose rolled out to where you're going to start and then get that machine started and rock and roll. Tip number five is next and it's a biggie. All right, tip number five is I always confirm the afternoon or the evening before the job to make sure confirm that the customer knows we're coming and at what time we're gonna be there. And I also confirm that people like this, landscapers, lawn companies, plumbers, electricians, carpet cleaners, anybody like that is not gonna be at the house while we're cleaning. I always let the customer know we need clear, uninterrupted access to the house as well as to the water supply. Worst thing you want is a plumber there that has to turn the water off. So that's tip number five. Always confirm with your customer um, 
the appointment the afternoon or the evening before. Hey, I hope these tips have helped win your Wednesday and every day after that. Um, if I can help you in any way, leave me a comment, leave me a question, whatever I can help you with. I'll be glad to help you um, share this video out if you think it can help somebody. Thanks so much. Y'all have an awesome day.